Aries, how are you doing today? Welcome to the channel. I'm Frosty Caribou. If you don't already know me, most people just call me Boo for short. I open up Pokemon TCG product here on my channel, but I also play the Pokemon trading card game both in person and online competitively. So if you guys ever want to duel, I duel you. <laughs> I haven't made TCG content in forever, so I figured I would jump into my baby Blacephalon deck today. This is a deck that is near and dear to my heart now. I used to absolutely despise baby Blacephalon, and I hated playing against this deck. I always lost, and then I just kind of became my worst enemy. You know, just became the very thing I swore to defeat. So I guess I just kind of joined the dark side, but uh, it paid off because I went undefeated at a 13 person tournament, so woo! <laughs> so I'm gonna do a short deck analysis. I like to break things down for you guys who are super noobs like me and try to help you understand how the deck works. And then we're gonna jump into playing some games online with this deck and hoping I don't get wrecked. So let's do it, woohoo! Before I jump into this deck analysis, I want to shout out my sponsor, Potown. I love them so much. They sell online code cards that you guys can scan in to the Pokemon trading card game. They have tons of them, and if you use code POKEBOO, you can get 5% off your purchase. So if you guys don't want to buy the actual packs and you just want code cards to expand your online collection, go ahead and use my code, save a bunch of money, be a happy boy. <laughs> so this is my son, my baby Blacephalon deck, so cute. This is just the most recent build I've been playing. I've tried dozens of variations of this deck and this is the one I most recently built and I'm kind of digging it so far. So we're just gonna roll with this one today and I'll kind of show you guys how it works. So the main attacker of this deck is baby Blacephalon. I say baby because this is not the GX. This is the baby one prizer Blacephalon, which means when your opponent knocks it out, they only take one prize card. Why that is so vital to this deck is because most decks in the format right now, you knock out a Pokemon and you take two or three prize cards. Uh, so the game goes a lot faster and it's who can get the first knocks is gonna win usually. But with baby Blacephalon, boy, He's only one prize card, which means your opponent is going to take a lot longer to beat you, which gives you more time to get those big knockouts and hopefully win. A big weakness to this deck is other one prize Pokemon decks because you're taking just as much time as them, and if you're playing another one prizer, it's pretty much who's gonna get the first knockout. So this is definitely a deck that fits really well into the meta right now, because a lot of decks are tag team decks, or V Pokemon, or V Max Pokemon, which you're taking two to three prize cards against them, and you're hitting for a lot of damage with this deck. So it works really well right now. I will say rotation is coming up in August, and this deck will no longer be viable, I wanna say, and if it is viable, it's like, Barely? <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be viable anymore, which is why I've been playing it because I'm like, I love my baby B and I wanna play it as long as possible. But once rotation happens, we lose a lot of cards that are really good in this deck. So unfortunately after rotation, it's gonna be really tough to play this, but if you wanna play it before August, Knock your socks off, baby. So this deck is heavily based around energy, which is why it has 14 energies, which is a lot of energies for a deck. Uh, but that's because Baby Blacephalon actually has to discard energy from hand in order to do damage. So for each fire energy that you discard from your hand, you're doing 50 damage. This means that for four fire energies, you're doing 200 damage, which is already a bunch. So your main move is going to be this Fireball Circus, but Blazer, let me tell you what, can come in as a Hail Mary sometimes. Let me put it to you like this. I was against a Dragapult deck. I was going second, which meant I attacked first, and they only had an Inke inactive, which was like 40 or 50 HP. I'm pretty sure it was 40 HP, and they could not get anything on their bench. They pretty much did their turn, passed to me, and then I Blazered flipped a fire energy, knocked out the ink and won the game on my first turn. 
<laughs> so it can definitely come in super handy. Uh, it's also good if you for some reason want to flip over a prize card to see what it is. A uh, blazer can be your best friend. So yay! So the way you're going to be getting all that fire energy to your hand is usually a fiery flint. Fiery flint allows you to discard two cards and then get four fire energy from your deck into your hand. So the ideal play for this would be to discard two fire energy. And I know you're probably like, what? Two fire energy? Why? But you discard the two fire energy because you're going to be retrieving the two fire energy uh, with other retrieval cards in the deck. So you want to play fiery flint, discard ideally two energies. Uh, because you're going to get them back, so it doesn't matter. And then get four energies to your hand, retrieve the other two, and then you'll have six energies in your hand just from one Fiery Flint. Now let's say you have two Fiery Flints, you're going to have a lot more energies, let's just say that. <laughs> Fire Crystal is an energy retrieval card, so you take three fire energies and put them from your discard pile back into your hand. So you're instantly recharging your hand with more energies to either apply to your Pokemon or to use as your damage output for the Baby Blacephalon. So that is your main retrieval card. We also have two energy retrievals, which is essentially the same thing as Fire Crystal, but instead of three energy, it's two. So we have a ton of energy retrieval. As you can see, we play four of those and two energy retrievals. So we have a lot of possibility to get those energy straight back into your hand, which is the whole purpose of this deck. So that's the main way you're kind of recycling energy throughout this deck. But another major component of this deck is Jirachis. You need to play four in this deck. I had a couple of builds where I played three, but I found four to be much better, uh, especially for this version. Stellar Wish is the ability that you use with Jirachi. So you want to Stellar Wish, which puts a little dude to sleep and then you get to draw one card out of the top five that is a trainer card so you flip top five and pull a trainer card from that so you're going to be wanting to pull your welders usually is what you're searching for if you don't already have one in hand uh fire crystals primarily is what you search for with jirachi um, or quick balls a ton of times i usually am searching for quick balls to get pokemon out because as you can see we play a lot of pokemon in this deck so that is also a major component but we're going to go into those dudes in a sec here so jirachis are going to be your starting pokemon that you kind of set up your hand with as well as pokemon when you need to clutch a card like a welder or something you can just stellar wish and grab a welder so the thing about this deck though is that we do not play escape boards which is usually played with Jirachi because he's asleep and when you need to retreat him uh, you can only retreat him while he's asleep with a skateboard, but we do not play escape boards, we play scoop up nets in this deck. So you scoop up net, grab the Jirachi, and you can push in your Blacephalon or another Jirachi. I once went a turn where I stellar wished like six times between two Jirachis, which is just absolutely bananas. So if you're hunting down something that you need and you need a bunch of Stellar Wishes, the combination of Jirachis and Scoop Up Nets really can help you with that. Another Pokemon you're usually Scoop Up Netting is this Mind Report Mewtwo. When you play this Mewtwo to the bench, you get to take a supporter card from discard and put it on the top of your deck. So you're recycling your supporter cards from your discard pile, primarily your welders. But you want to scoop up this guy so that you can play him again and recycle more. So you have like endless welders, essentially, as long as you have scoop up nets, which is pretty bomb diggity junior. So you might be like, but boo, he only puts it onto the top of your deck. He doesn't go back into your hand, which is true, but you can still stellar wish to get the welder or you can use good old Oricorio, which is my broski. I love this card so much. It has helped me clutch so many games in this deck. Oricorio allows you to draw three cards at the top of your deck as long as one of your Pokemon was knocked out in the previous turn. So if one of your Blacephalons gets knocked out, it's a guaranteed three cards into your hand, which is a major, major draw support in this deck. Highly recommend sticking this dude in. He has helped me in every single game I play. The only downside to this card and really this deck as well, it's very ability heavy. So if you're playing against anything that shuts down your abilities, that's going to be a major disadvantage to you. Another major draw support card is Zacian. You want to usually get Zacian out if you're going first because he allows you to draw three cards with his Intrepid Sword. So if you can't attack first turn, then you definitely want to get Zacian out to draw three and set up your hand a lot better for next turn. So that's really 
the only reason this dude's in here is for draw support. Fionne is in here as a major gusting effect, so it forces your opponent to switch their Pokemon out. So let's say they have a one prizer in active, but they have a bunch of two, three prizers on bench. You force them to switch, and then you hit a bunch of damage and take a bunch of prize cards. So this is awesome. It also helps you from not decking out, because when you use Fionne, uh, it goes to the bottom of your deck. So if your deck is thinning quite a bit, then you can use it and kind of recycle into your deck, which I've used it for plenty of times as well, so that's pretty sweet. I also have another gusting effect. I play one copy of Boss's Orders. This is kind of just the clutch card. If you have a Blacephalon that's already loaded up with energies and you don't need to welder onto it and you just kind of have an open turn where you can play a supporter card, play this Boss's Orders, get something up into the active and knock it out for a bunch of prize cards. That has helped me a bunch of times, uh, but again, I don't think it's necessary to play more than one copy. Uh, unless you really like the card, go ahead. <laughs> we also have four switches, so if you need to switch out of Jirachi if it's asleep, or switch out of something else for some reason, I think four switches is definitely necessary in this build of the deck, especially without the escape boards. Another major draw support card is Heat Factory. Heat Factory allows you to discard a fire energy, which you're already wanting to do anyway with this deck, and draw three cards. Ultra Space is the other stadium I play. Unfortunately, I primarily throw this one away to Chaotic Swell in order to get my Heat Factory out. But if you're not playing against Chaotic Swells, this one is bomb to search for an Ultra Beast card so you can get Baby Blacephalon or Big Boy Blacephalon, which we'll talk about in a second here. And you can search those dudes out and put them onto your bench if you need them to. So that just helps you get those dudes. Beast Springer is another Ultra Beast exclusive card, so it works on your Baby Blacephalon or your Big Blacephalon, but it only works against GX Pokemon, so not Vs or VMAX. So if you're playing a V or VMAX deck, this is nothing to you. You can just discard it to a Quick Ball or something else um, because you don't need this deck unless you're playing against a GX. Now this comes in super handy against Picaroms, which is why I still play it because I play against a lot of Picaroms in uh, my current local scene. And what this does is you attach it to your Blacephalon and then when you knock out a GX and you still have six prize cards, then you take an additional prize card. So. Instead of taking three for Picaram, you'd be taking four prize cards. So this is so, so helpful if you can get a knock on a Picaram early game because you have to have six prize cards still and it'll major, major lead you in the game. You're pretty much probably gonna win if you get the Beast Bringer off, um, but again, this only counts against Picaroms or other tag team GX or regular GX. Pokemon, so keep that in mind. To finish off this analysis, we have a couple more Pokemon that I haven't really explained. Cramorant, Turkey Boy, my boy, I love this dude so much. This is a super underrated card, in my opinion. It goes so well into Welder decks because it has colorless uh, energy. So the first move that this guy has allows you to search two cards, two of any cards, and put them straight into your hand. So that is super awesome if you're looking for two cards and you don't want to welder onto him to get to do his spit shot. If you start with him, it's very bomb as well, uh, as long as you can retreat him later. Uh, but yeah, Beat Catch can help you very early game or help you come in clutch late game if you need cards like very, very desperately. But the primary reason you use Cramorant in this deck is for spit shot. This allows you to hit the bench and one hit KO Dedenes which is a major part of this deck, hit 160 damage to the bench and then discard the three energy. So it helps you get energies into the discard as well as one shot things on the bench for some major prize support. So that is Bomb Diggity Junior. Big boy, Blacephalon, Blacephalon GX. I primarily use for this burst GX. I've won so many games. Uh, by just throwing Blacephalon into the active Burst GX for the win. Because all Burst GX does is it discards when your prize card. So if you only have one prize card left, you pretty much win. <laughs> so that's the primary way I use this guy, but he also does have Mind Blown, which I've used in very desperate situations. I don't like using Mind Blown because it discards your energy to the Lost Zone. It still does a good job, but just imagine throwing six energies into the Lost Zone. Oof. <laughs> Oof. 
Heatran GX also comes in super nifty as well. Steaming Stomp is usually the attack I use on this guy, but his ability, uh, if you throw him onto your bench and then you move him into active, either by retreating whatever is in your uh, active position or if you switch, uh, him into active with a switch card, then you apply all the energies, as many as you want, to the Heatran. So you can just instantly charge him up to hit for 130. This is super handy dandy if, like, for some reason you don't have a lot of energy left and it's all on your board and you need to reallocate it to the Heatran to do some damage. That's bomb. Uh, you can also use his GX move as well. I don't usually use his GX move because I want to use the Blazer GX move on the big boy Blacephalon, but his Hot Burn GX does do 50 damage for each energy that is attached to Heatran, so you could load him up with energies and then welder onto him or just somehow get a ton of energy and hit for a lot of damage if you want to. So that's super handy. And then also the last card Victini Prism Star is kind of a Hail Mary card in this deck. Infinity is the move that it does, and it does 20 damage for each energy card that's in your discard pile. I've had plenty of games where I discard all of my uh, fire energy and then I have no way to retrieve it because I've used all my fire crystals and used all my energy retrievals. This happens if you're playing against one prizer decks, you will most likely come very close if not deck out. So infinity is a move that you can just hit a ton of damage with and then it actually reshuffles all of those energies in your discard back into your deck. So you no longer have any of the energies in your discard pile, but they're back in your deck which allows you to use them again if you need to um, or if you're about to deck out, allows you to reshuffle that. And it also just kind of hits a one massive damage move. So that's super helpful as well. So a quick baby synopsis of this deck is that you are thinning the deck extremely quickly. It has a lot of draw support and you're primarily just charging up all of your energies onto your baby Blacephalon, hitting for a ton of damage by discarding a bunch of energies in hand and then just retrieving those energies right back with Fire Crystal and Energy Retrieval and hitting again with a ton, a ton of damage. So it's a very fast, aggressive deck, doesn't do well against things that shut down abilities, doesn't do well against one prizers, doesn't do well against reset stamp for sure, that doesn't do well against that. Although I will say I have gotten reset stamped dozens of times and because this deck has so much draw support, I've still clutched the win even after a reset stamp to one or two cards. So it's definitely okay. Uh, you can pull it off against reset stamp, but it does make it a lot harder. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the deck analysis. If you guys have any more questions or have any additions that you think would better this deck, please leave them down in the comments below. And for now, let's get into some games so I can show you guys how this baby works. This well-oiled baby Blacephalon engine. <laughs> okay, goobies, let's get into this first match. I, for some reason, have a win streak of two already. So I guess we're going off that. Let's hope we can keep this win streak up, baby. Woo! <laughs> Looking for an opponent who's gonna be my opponent today. I'm kind of hoping I go against a Pikaram deck so I can just show you how much I demolish Pikaram decks with this deck. But we shall see. I don't really know what people are playing online right now. Uh, ooh, this might be Mew Box. I saw a lot of different colors in there. Let's see. Heads, I won the coin flip. I'm gonna go second, so no, I would not like to go first. I usually wanna go second with this deck just because it's, oh, that's not too shabby. Uh, just so that you can attack first, uh, cause plenty of times you can get the welder off uh, because you can't play a supporter first turn anymore, which is not good. Ooh, Naganadels, interesting. So you want to go second so you can get the welder off uh, onto the baby Blacephalon primarily and then do some work. This is bad though. This is real bad. You have no additional basic Pokemon Rip Ronian. Jeez. Whoa. Okay, so I'm feeling like this is a Mew box that plays Naganadel because it has, unless it's just a 
Greninja Zoroark, but I saw like Electric Energy. Oh, it's got Spiritomb too. Interesting. Okay, not really sure what deck this is, but this is a pretty bad start for us. I hate starting with Placephalon GX because usually you want to pull Placephalon GX um, out toward the end to use the Burst GX move. Uh, and you don't want to put him out there early, otherwise you kind of sacrifice him and they take two prize cards for knocking him out. And he has pretty low HP, it's 180, so that's not good. Wow, what a terrible, terrible, terrible way to start. Okay, we're going to just apply here and then we're just going to Intrepid Sword. <laughs> Attach, pass! <laughs> that's absolute trash. Okay, we got two quick falls, which is good. That's good, and at least we had the Zacian first turn, at least. Uh, but I do know Greenwich Zorark is going to be hit for quite a bit of damage pretty early on, as long as he can get energy out, which is not good. And then Spiritomb also is just the Pokemon that charges up with its anguish, or sorry, with its, what's its, with building spite? <sighs> Spiteful little Spiritomb, and then just explodes on you and does a lot of damage, so that's not good. Uh, so let's just see if we die here today. <laughs> so grim, but so true. I don't think there's a way for him to get more energy out unless he plays, like... Uh, unless he plays, uh... Oh, what's that Pokemon? <gasps> oh, I can't remember which one it is, but it's a Pokemon that when you play it, you attach a bunch of energy. Abyssal Sleep? Dang, I can't remember the dude's name. This looks like it's just like a dark deck. Ah, he's got a Jirachi though. Yeah, the ideal start for us is a Jirachi. Um, that's that's a great start. But of course, as soon as I start recording this, Pokemon's just like, you're gonna have to work for it today, boo. You're gonna have to work for it today. So let's see what the move is here. Um, oh, what is the move? So we don't really have any cards right now that allow us to... Hmm. What is the move? Uh, so how much can we hit for? We're only going to be hitting for 200. It's not going to be enough. Even with the welder. Uh, yeah, that's bad. Okay, let's go... Let's go quick ball. And discard an energy for a Jirachi. Because I was like, uh, because we could welder and put two and then attach one and we'd have four. But then we'd have to discard those four with Mind Blown to the Lost Zone. And that's just kind of something I don't want to do right now. Uh, so, and we still wouldn't hit enough. It only hit 200, which he's 250. So, no bueno. Uh, let's go Stellar Wish. And we're going to grab, ooh, what should I grab? Ooh, um... Let's grab an energy retrieval. Actually, no, let's go quick ball. Because I know we have another quick ball, but we're gonna go. Hmm. Let's see if I can play this correctly. Hmm. Oh, I need two, though. Alright, we're gonna risk it for the biscuit. Let's go quick ball discarding this for another Zirachi. And then we're gonna scoop up Nat. This guy. Scooby doops. Uh, promote this guy. Stellar Wish. Mm, a switch. Or a welder. Let's go switch. Cause that kinda helps. Uh, Yoraki. Switch. Oops. Stellar Wish. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Ooh, spicy boys. Ooh, lots of options. Wow, that never happens. You get five off the Stellar Wish. That's crazy. Okay, let's go Fiery Flint. Easy choice. Oh, kind of not an easy choice, though, because we still need that switch, and I still need the Quick Ball as well. Uh, that's bad. Okay, let's go. Dang, that sucks. Fiery Flint. I'm going to have to do it. The, the Mewtwo and the energy, so Mewtwo's gone, but we can always get him back with the Ordinary Rod if we need to. Let's get the four energies that we need here. And then let's go Quick Ball into a baby boy. Where's my dude? Hello, mister! Uh, is that what I want to do? Uh, yeah, that's what I have to do. 
I mean, we're just gonna kind of like hope, I guess, for some good draw support off the welder. If we hit the heat factory, bruh, that'd be sick. Okay, uh, let's play this guy. Let's welder onto him. Hope that we get some spice. Some spice! <gasps> we got the fire crystal. That's absolutely sick. So let's fire crystal. Uh, three, back out. And that still gives us four. Ah, no, it's gonna be three, actually. Ooh. Um, what can we do here? <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Three, four, no. Dang, we can still only apply one. That's such a bummer. I'm like one short from doing what I need to do. Ooh, that's bad. Okay, uh, let's just attach and then we're gonna Intrepid Sword and hope that he doesn't have a way to gust us. Because I definitely can hit him out next turn and if i got the beast springer that would also be really helpful because that is a gx pokemon so i could just toss the beast springer on there um and get four prize cards off the greenwich zorark which would be sick but knowing him i mean i'm hoping he doesn't have anything to gust that would kind of suck it wouldn't be detrimental but it, it'd be it'd be pretty bad <laughs> oh no Riprodian cheese! No! Okay, that's okay. That's okay. I think I can still save this. Maybe. Um, it is not good that he has Black Market out there, though. I definitely need uh, my Heat Factory, that's for sure. Oh, okay, we got another Switch. <sighs> okay, so we have more energy in the discard, so that's good, because we if we pop a Fire Crystal, that'll help us. So let's start with a Stellar Wish. Uh, I'm gonna grab a Scoop Up. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, baby. <laughs> uh, I guess let's thin the deck a little bit. Mm, should I? Yeah. F <laughs> Fiery flint out to energies for another four. Thinning the deck, thinning it out. Thin, thin a baby. Thin a baby, thin a bonds. Uh, <laughs> and then we're going to scoop this baby up into the strachi. Hope. For some energy retrieval. Come on, baby! No! Okay, we got Ultra Space. Uh, yeah, we got Ultra Space. That'll still help because it'll get rid of his Black Market, which is bomb, uh, and allow us to get a Pokemon out. So let's Ultra Space. Try to see what we prized here. We have Oryukuryu, we have Cremorant. If only I had a Quick Ball. Oh, there are no valid cards to select. Um, excuse me? Wow, okay, so that means I prized my other Blacephalon, so that's not very good, but at least we had one in hand. Holy smokes. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Uh, ooh, do I welder first? Yeah, we're gonna welder onto Blacephalon. Hope for energy retrieval. We did get an energy retrieval, but I don't know if that's gonna be enough. We're gonna attach. We're going to. Oh, I'm trying, I'm gonna try to get the Bee Springer. Let's go, Jirachi. Switch. Bee Springer, Bee Springer, Bee Springer. No! No! Okay, no Bee Springer. I don't even know if I saw it in there, actually. I didn't even look for that. No bueno, no bueno. Okay, we did get a Fire Crystal, though, which is good. So, let's snag this Fire Crystal out. So, we're still gonna get the knock, but it's not, like, the knock I wanted. I wish we had a Quick Ball to get the Oreo Cario out. But no bueno. So we're going to switch into baby boy. And then we're going to fire crystal out three. And we're, we need to hit for 250. About 250. So we are going to fireball circus for 100, 200, 250. Boom. So we didn't get the beast bringer, which is kind of a bummer. I'm pretty sure it's a prize though. So we're going to get three prize cards. Oh, there's a heat factory. Wow, the prizes. And energy and oh sick okay wow i'm really happy with that really really happy with that so we're gonna get wrecked by the spear tomb in a sec uh <laughs> that's not good but again we only have to get to one prize card uh in order to win this because we still have our blacephalon gx so as long as that dude doesn't get knocked out which he almost did he almost did then we can burst gx and win off the one <sighs> that'd be sick if he put another Okay, he's gonna put another dude out. 
Oh, never mind. Sorry, I thought he was playing that. My bad. Oh no, he's ordinary rotting. Okay, so he ordinary rod, and then he's gonna get a fresh seven. He's desperate. He's like, help! I need help! <laughs> His Naganadel is gonna charge up here. Uh, this dude just charges up. He gets energy from the discard pile onto him. And then I'm assuming he plays something that shifts energy around. Oh no, probably not, because he's playing Greninja's Zorark, which just needs energy on the board. Doesn't need it on himself. Which, I mean, man, that card's good. I love that deck when I used to play it. That card is good. So the Spirit Tomb hit is hitting for 30 time times each damage counter, which is knock. <laughs> knock? <laughs> 130, so I guess it was like barely, barely a knockout, but still a knockout. Uh, this is going to be kind of interesting because we don't have a way to switch the Jirachi, and this dude is what, to retreat? Mm. Okay, so we're going to throw him up because I guess we could still apply an energy to hard retreat. Okay, we got a scoop of net. Sick, sick, that is good. Alright, so let's go... Ultra Space is pointless right now. I guess we'll use it just to see what's what we have left. Energy retrieval, fiery flint, two fire crystals, that's good. Okay, so... Heat factory. We're gonna just... Mm, pop the heat factory? Draw three. Uh... Oricorio? Ah, do I want to use the Oricorio? No, because I don't want to deck out. I don't need him right now. Oh no, I do. I need a welder. Uh oh, spaghettios. Okay, let's try to get that welder. Oh no, that's not good. I'll grab a fire crystal. Oh man, I didn't realize I didn't have a welder. Okay, this is a sticky situation. Sticky situation here today. We're gonna dance a tribute for a welder. Boom. Boom. Uh, I want to hit the spirit tomb out. See, this is this is crazy. This is crazy. Uh. Man. This is a tough one. I guess I could promote Mr. Steam and Stomp. No, I don't think I want to do that. I have enough retrieval. I just didn't want to play as many. Like, I'm scared of decking out right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. That's very not good. Uh, but we do have Fiona just in case we get lower, I guess, on cards, which is about to happen because we're about to weld her. Uh, which is kind of bad. It's bad. Okay, let's just do it. Let's just hope for the best here. So we're going to weld her too. I mean, I only need to hit this dude for with one energy. So, uh, Atachi. I'm definitely going to scoop this guy up because I want this bench space for Fion, Fion Brosk. And then we're going to... Yeah, uh, is my Ordinary Rod still in there? I don't remember seeing it. Uh, okay, and then we're going to Fireball Circus for 50. Knock that dude out, take another card. So I'm just kind of scared of decking out right now because I only have three cards left. So, that's not good. Uh, <laughs> we could always just, like, pop Victini out. Honestly, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of scared here. My brain, my brain. I'm thinking of, like, so many things that I'm also trying to narrate my thoughts for you guys. It's actually really hard to film these videos because I usually do all of this internally. I'm just like, blah, 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 internally, but... We don't have the option today. Okay, so if he does not knock out my Blacephalon, that would actually be pretty sick because then we could just get the boss's orders out of my deck and then grab this guy and then win. Because right now the dilemma I'm facing is like, I don't have enough prize cards to take. You know what I mean? Like, I, I need to knock out two prize cards to win. And he has a bunch of one prizers. <laughs> So, it looks like he's gonna knock me out with this boy. Alright, what's this dude? If you have three prize cards remaining, this attack does 80. So he doesn't, he has four. So it's only doing 80, so that's not gonna knock- Oh, he's just gonna Greninja me. Alright, so- Oh! 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 
Wait a second. Hold up. SpaghettiOs. Um, we don't have a switch. We don't have a switch. We don't have a switch. How can I pull this off? How can I pull this off? I know I have another... Can I pull this off? We don't have a switch. Okay. No, I don't think I have a switch left. Oh no! All right, let's just start with this. We're gonna get all... I'm trying to think here. I think I can... Oh yeah. Oh no, that's not gonna work. <gasps> oh no! All right, we're gonna we're gonna fireball circus for a knock. There's my bee springer. Oh, actually, I guess it doesn't matter because we well, just Blacephala and burst GX next turn to win. Yeah, because I'm not decking out. I don't know why I was thinking I was decking out. Oh, you know why I was thinking that? Okay, so I was thinking I was going to deck out because I was like, oh, I'll just welder and get the last three and then boss's orders. And I was like, oh, wait, I can't play two supporters, so that's not going to work. And I had no way to get the boss's orders <laughs> otherwise. But it doesn't matter because we just won anyway. So, wow. I was way overthinking that. Holy smokes. Man, my brain was like, shut down, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but we got it. Okay. Oh man, and we prized the ordinary rod. I should have known that when I didn't see it in there. Oh, so we got that win. That was a bit. That was a bit scary. I don't know why. I guess I'm rusty. I haven't played in a while. But dang, my mind was overthinking that one. That's for sure. <laughs> it's weird seeing a dark deck. Like how strange. I haven't seen a dark deck in a while. Wow. Whoo! Whoo! Shake it off. Big boys, shake it up! Because we're jumping into another game here in a sec. I kind of want to play against like a, a Dragapult or a Picarom or a Mew Box to show you guys the true potential of this deck. As you can see from that game though, and as you can see from my super spaz mind, that there's a lot going on in this deck that you have to think about and you have to make a lot of decisions that are scary sometimes. Very scary. When I like to go first, negative. I will go second. All right, so here we go. Berserk, Berserkamo is who we're going against. And another terrible start. Wow. What the heck is this? I don't want to start with Heatran. I mean, is it the worst? I guess we'll start with Heatran, actually, because I know we can't do his ability because he's already inactive, but I don't want to start with those other two because why would you ever start with this dude? that negates his ability completely. And I don't want to risk putting Blacephalon out there to die, so. All right, we're probably playing against an Inteleon deck, most likely. I hope that's what it is. Cause then I can kind of show you guys how this does against a water deck. Which, honestly, I don't think it does very bad against a water deck. I think it's okay against water decks, even though it doesn't make sense cause they have weakness on us, but. Let's hope for something good. Wow, that is straight trash. Oh my goodness. This is the absolute worst hand. I thought the other one was terrible, but oh my god, this is trash. All right, we're going to put Pacephalon out there because I have no other choice. Um, I guess we could hot burn. What? No. Should I? Yeah, we're going to do it because it's going to knock out the Jirachi, which I guess will help him not be able to build... Ooh, and that's really helpful, getting the Ultra Space, but oh my god, we just popped our GX. So, we did get the knockout on our first turn. <laughs> but oh my god, that is not how I wanted that to go. Okay, so we're hoping for some, some sort of draw support, literally anything uh, at this point. He's looking kind of desperate over here for- oh, here we go! Nice, okay. I don't mind that at all, actually. Getting Marnied. I prefer, I, I would prefer that. Okay, so we did kind of throw him off there and he helped us here. So we're going to Fiery Flint, thin our deck a little bit, get some fire energy out. 
and into the discard as well. That's helpful. And then we're going to throw Jirachi out there. Unfortunately, we still can't retreat this bro because it requires three and I still don't have a welder. So I'm just gonna attach here and pass. So unfortunate, especially cause I'm going, it was literally a, a 50 HP Snom. Oh my gosh, but he passed too, that's sick. Oh, and we got a switch. I don't really need it now though. <gasps> I don't really need it now. Oh no. No, I'm not gonna switch into the Jirachi because I would have no way to switch back. So we're just gonna steaming stomp for the knock. Get some leverage on this game. <laughs> Get as many prize cards as we can, desperately. Uh, this bro only has 90 HP, so as long as he can't do some spice right now, which I don't think he's gonna be able to, we're going to steaming stomp, knock him out. So, oh, and the resign, okay, wow, well, sick. Okay, so that was an easy one. We're just gonna disregard that one. <laughs> I don't count that one, but there's a win against a water deck. <laughs> That's so sleazeball. I can't believe I just, I just GX to Jirachi. <laughs> Bro, what? Bro, what? Okay, we're just gonna go straight into uh, this next game because that was pretty cheeseball. I feel dirty. I feel dirty right now, you guys. I feel really dirty. <laughs> uh, Pokemon's like, here, take all these prizes, yay. All right, looking for an opponent. Let's go. Win streak four. Holla, holla. Sorry, Berserker Mo, if you ever watch this video, I'm sorry that your hand bricked. Happens to the best of us. Probably gonna happen to me now, cause karma. <laughs> Daniel, we're going against a Daniel. I'm about it. And oh, he has a cute little Sabo coin. What? That is such a cute coin. <gasps> I want that coin. That's so cute. Although this looks kind of scary. Is that supposed to be his tongue? I honestly have no idea. All right, Daniel, slow poking it up. Flip the coin. Man, I am winning all these coin flips. Heck yeah, would I like to go first? Nah, we will pass. We'll go second. Yes, finally, we got the Jirachi start. Whoop. I'm not gonna place anymore right now. I'll place once I know what else my hand. Oh my gosh, another water deck? Heck yeah, dude. Let's wreck this snom for breakfast. Capacious bucket. Let's do it. I forgot what this thing does, actually. Oh, it just retrieves two? Oh, wow, that's pretty sweet. Wow, that's a really good card. Okay, so he can't evolve first turn. Oh, can he? Can that thing auto evolve? No, okay. Oh my gosh, he just has a snom? What? Oh, can I pull this off? Uh. Uh. <laughs> Bro. I don't think I can. We'd have to stellar wish. No, I don't think I can. I'm thinking right now really hard. <laughs> um. No, because I don't have a welder. No, I can't pull it off. Man, that's such a... Bummer. Okay. I don't have a switch or anything either. Uh, yeah, let's just... Yeah, this is a jam. We're gonna quick fall. I was really, really hoping I would get something where I could hit out this snom because that'd be an easy win. But it's not gonna turn out like that today. So we're gonna just quick ball for our Zacian. Hopefully we didn't prize it. Uh, okay, he's here. And then we're just gonna Intrepid Sword. Unfortunately, I didn't have a Welder, which is a bummer. I also didn't have a Switch, which kind of sucks. So, bummer, but that's okay. Um, do I want to throw something else out there? Just in case. Yeah, let's, let's toss Cramorant out there. It's kind of risky, I think, because I don't really want him to target him. But just in case our Jirachi gets knocked out, we can promote Cramorant and at least use his beat catch. Uh, otherwise, if the Jirachi gets knocked out and we only had Zacian, we'd have to move Zacian and then we'd be hoping for a switch uh, because that's what I need in order to retreat him because we can't scoop up net him and he's got two retreat costs. So just in case, we're gonna toss Cramorant out here. Oh my god, stop it! What? Easy peasy lemon squeezy! Okay, uh, uh, wait, can I still not do this? I still don't have a welder, bro. What did we even get off that intrepid sword? Absolute trash? Dude! Uh, 
Stellar wish for a welder. Oh no. Bro. Bro. <laughs> we need to hit a switch. Oh my god, is this really happening right now? Oh my god. Okay, this is ridiculous. Okay, let's put Blacephalon. We're gonna welder on to... Let, let's weld her on to... I was gonna weld her on the Blacephalon, but I actually would rather weld her on the Cramorant. So let's weld her on to the Cramorant and hope for a switch. Oh, we didn't get a switch. What can I quick ball out? Uh, nothing. Nothing that would help me. Dang. Oh, are you serious? This dude has given us two free passes and I still can't do anything. <laughs> we had to choose between the welder and the switch and I had to take the welder. Dang, that sucks. That absolutely is trash. <laughs> Bro, how does this happen? I had a snob? Oh my gosh. Okay, he obviously couldn't do anything again. Oh, oh my. Oh my god. <laughs> That was so frustrating. I mean, he resigned anyway because he couldn't do anything still, but dang, he gave me two free turns and I still could not hit him out. Wow, that never happens. That's crazy. All right, so we got the win on that, but that was trash. So let's just go into another game and hope for the best here. <laughs> Baby B, spicing it up, spicing it up. That first game was pretty long. So I guess those two games are kind of a wipe. Like, I wish that didn't happen because I'd rather show you guys a quality game. But it happened, so that's that's online PTCGO for you. All right, heads. Oh, see, as soon as I call the coin flip, of course I lose because I'm trash. <laughs> All right, come on, Jirachi. Okay, or a mulligan. Oh, we both mulliganed. Sweet. Let's hope for a Jirachi. <gasps> We got it, and we got the Oreo Choreo, which I actually have not got to show you guys. The Oreo Choreo, yeah. Was that this dude's hand? Is he also playing a fire deck? Oh no, we might be going against the mirror match here. Uh oh, Spaghettio. I think I'm going first. He chose. Oh no, he got a Mulligan too. Okay. Oh, I'm pretty sure he's playing. Oh no, he's not. He's playing. Whoa, this is an interesting deck. He's playing Janine and Silvali. That's quite interesting. Oh, he factory Silvali. All right, it didn't let me look at his second mulligan. I was taking too long, but that's interesting. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going first. Oh, he's playing Charizard. Whoa, what? Weird. I don't think I've really played against a Charizard deck. No one plays Charizard anymore. Okay. This should be interesting. Uh, this should be relatively... No, I don't want to say that because I'm going to jinx myself. <laughs> so I'm not going to say that. Let's throw out Ultra Space. I don't really want to throw out a Heat Factory because it's going to help him. Um, we shall see. I think I've played... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I've played against. Uh, do I want to throw out Oricorio? Not really. But I kind of do at the same time. Ooh, okay, this is interesting. So we need a welder, we need a switch, and we need energy retrieval. It's probably not gonna happen first turn. So let's just start with the Fiery Flint to thin the deck a little bit. <sighs> Grab four fireballs. Uh, and then I guess we can quick ball as well. Let's go ahead and quick ball out something. Something. Uh, okay, do I grab the Zacian because I won't be able to attack, or do I grab a Jirachi? I don't want to grab the Zacian because he's going to hit him for weakness, which is like an instant. Let's grab another Jirachi. Throw him down. Uh, and then we're hoping for a Welder. Ooh, we got it. Sick. Uh, such a bummer, though, because I need all of those. <laughs> I need all of those, but we're gonna hope that we hit some of them off the welder, which would be sweet. So if I can get some energy retrieval and a switch off this welder, which is a really, really tall order, 
but we'll see what we can do. I did thin my deck quite a bit. Ooh, that, oh man, I already used that. Dang. Ripperoni and cheese. Okay, that sucks. Um. Yeah, there's really nothing we can do here. So, ooh, do I throw the Zacian out? Spicy, spicy, spicy. Dang, do I do it? Ah, I don't want to do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Intrepid sword. Oh no. Oh, it's just a really, really heavy liability to throw onto my bench because if he has any way to gust me up, which usually Charizard decks do, uh, I'm screwed. <laughs> He's gonna one hit KO my Zacian, which would be absolutely terrible. So now the ideal situation is that he actually knocks out my Jirachi. That would be sweet because if he did that, oh, sick. Oh, sick. All right, now I can just show you guys instead of having to tell you. So we're gonna throw Jirachi up. Uh, we're gonna throw Oryu Koryo out. Dance of Tribute, so draw a quick three. Casual three. Uh, let's go Ultra Space. Ooh. For another... Yeah, let's do that. A baby Placephalon boy. Another one. Another one. And then we're going to... Heat Factory is gonna help him. Hmm. Hmm. Can I get the knock without it? Ah, oh, but I really want... Ooh, but I really want the Bee Springer. Uh, I'm so greedy. Okay. <laughs> let's let's do it. Heat Factory, yay! Oh, we still didn't get it. Ripperonis. Okay, so we didn't get the Bee Springer. Oh, but we could do some spice here. Oh, do I do some spice? Do I do some spice? Do I do some spice? Quick ball. Yeah, let's do some spice. <laughs> let's do some spice. Okay, we're gonna quick ball uh, another Jirachi. <laughs> I'm having so much fun <laughs> right now. <laughs> okay, we're gonna play this dude. We're gonna scoop this guy up. So come here, Jirachi. For this Jirachi. Beast Bringer, Beast Bringer. Oh, oh dang. Uh, can we... Uh, no, I wouldn't want to use that. Let's go switch. Still not really ideal. Uh, I guess I could use another switch. That's gonna be interesting. All right, toss Jirachi, scoop up Jirachi, into Jirachi. <laughs> Stellar wish, Beast Bigger. Oh, Big Bears! Here we go. Here we go. Okay, now we just need a bunch of energy. <laughs> We need a bunch of energies. All right, Beast Springer. Boom, boom. Okay, how much does he have? 270? Dang, so we're gonna need what, six? I think we're gonna need six, yeah. Ooh, that's a tall order here. Uh, Jirachi? Switch. Stellar Wish. Okay, 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 okay. How many do we have in discard right now? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go. I don't really want to get rid of that one. Dang. I'm gonna go. We have ordinary rod, so I don't really care about discarding Pokemon here. Fiery Flint. Discarding two Pokemon because I'll get him back with the ordinary rod because I don't really want to discard that That oh, we only have three. Oh, okay. So I think that's still enough though Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is Yeah, we should be good. Okay, sweet. So and we still even have haven't even welded yet. All right, so we'll switch into baby boy fireball crystal 100 200 300! Woo! For four prize cards. Wow, here we go. Here we go, chicken nuggets. That was sweet. <laughs> that was really good. Okay, so now we just need to wreck this other Charizard, and then we are good to go. And he already popped his GX, which is pretty pretty sweet so yeah buddy 
Woohoo! Alright, this is gonna be kind of crazy though. We used a lot of our scoop ups and a lot of our switches. So, but we still have Oricorio, so he's he's gonna knock out this Blacephalon. And then we should be able to. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully, we'll be able to do something <laughs> here. Uh, we still. We need to get another six. Oh my god, he couldn't knock him? Wait, what? Wait, why? Oh, because he needs four. Oh my god, I haven't played this in so long. I forgot that he needs four for Flare Strike. What? Okay. Wow, that's crazy. Um, I still need six. I still need six, bro. I still need six. Okay, we're gonna hope, hope we can get... Oh my god, wow. Wow. The luck. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's bananas. Okay, sick. Let's just do it all, baby! Look out! Karate chop! Karate chop! Nice. Nice. Well, I guess that's how we do against Charizard. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> I should have known. I think I said it in the beginning. This is probably going to be a pretty easy win. Simply because the Charizard is a tag team, which is a large prize card. Sacrificial lamb. So, whoo! That was sweet. 650 damage, baby. Woo! Okay, let's do win streak six, man. We are climbing this ladder right now. I'm about it. I am about it. Let's do one more, I think. Otherwise, this is gonna be a super long video. Cause we we kind of have like two throwaway rounds, so one more should be okay. One more should be okay. I feel like it's already gonna be super long, but hey, oh well, <laughs> oh well. Let's do it! Gazaburo. Here we go. Gazaburo. I lost. Ripperonis and cheese. Who goes first? I prefer to go second. <gasps> Sweet. I think they're going first. Nice. Oh my god. No! No! That sucks. That sucks. Okay. Uh, that's not good. So I never really want to start with him, but unfortunately we're starting with him. So we're going to hope for a switch early game. Uh, but we do have two quick balls, which at least is... Oh, God! <gasps> oh, no. I hope that's not what this whole deck is based around. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! This might get a little spicy. Okay, uh... Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. Quick ball. A Jirachi. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Uh. I'm just gonna save that for now, actually. I'm not even gonna quick ball. Okay. Wow. This is, okay. <laughs> okay. So why this is so absolutely terrible? It's because our deck plays a ton of trainer cards and this dude hits uh, damage with for trainer cards. He didn't actually get the energy attached first turn. Wow, that's lucky for me. Poltergeist hits 50 for each uh, trainer card in your hand, which is a lot of trainer cards for me. So, that was actually really risky, me not using the quick ball, I guess, but I kind of needed to see what I was going to draw. Luckily, we did get the switch, so we're going to switch into Jirachi. <sighs> uh, uh, do I quick ball or do I stellar wish first? That is the question. Let's quick ball for Blacephalon. For baby. Baby boy. Yeah. <sighs> sheesh. Sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. Now let's tell her wish. Welder? <gasps> oh, oh. Nice. That's good. That's very good. <laughs> but we still need to get another switch or a scoop up, which is kind of risky. Risking it for the biscuit. 
And it also is probably gonna put some more cards in our hand, which is also always gonna have a little basket. Ooh, that's terrible. Cool. All right, sweet Swedish meatball. <laughs> Swedish meatball. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, let's throw another Drachi down. There's no way for me to switch right now, which is not good. Ah, uh, that's not gonna help me. I guess it'll help me. Uh, I mean, he's only gonna knock out the Jirachi, though. Yeah, let's let him knock the Jirachi out. We're gonna just Intrepid Sword. I don't wanna use that yet. I don't wanna use the Ordinary Rod, so. Jeez, oh, this is, we did get a switch, so at least we hit the switch off the Intrepid Sword. But that, is, he's hitting for, uh, what, 300 damage? Casual 300 right now? So. <laughs> He still has nothing on his bench. Like, what is this deck? What is he playing? Is it only Gengar Mimikyu? What's he playing? I don't know. Usually Gengar Mimikyu is like a one-off card that you can hit a lot of damage with. Oh, interesting. Okay. Wow. Man, I'm playing really weird decks today. These are like not decks I usually play against. <sighs> okay. Um, man, like, we only have two in the discard. This is not good. Okay, we are going to do Jirachi since we do have a switch. Mm. Yes. Okay, let's, let's see. We can... We can get some help from this heat factory, get some draw support going. Fire crystal, oh man, we're gonna waste a fire crystal for two though, Ah, oh, jeez. I need a fiery flint, that's like legitimately all I need. Ah, oh, we didn't get it, of course, sick. Okay, that's not good, hmm. That is not good at all. That is not good at all, okay. We did get the Bee Springer, which I guess is chill, but not really if we can't get the knock. So, what we're gonna have to do here is toss this broski down. Oh god, I don't want to do this. Waste a welder, essentially, to welder one. Oh my god, that's trash. Uh... Wow, that really hurt me. <laughs> oh, jeez. I was hoping, hoping we would get a fiery flint there, but uh, that's not how it went. But I just realized we could still do our hot burn GX, which would hit for three, four, five. Oh, not enough? Oh, no. How much does he have? Oh, he only has 240. Oh, so that would be enough. Okay, sick. So let's do Heatran, attach to Heatran, uh, switch into Heatran. This is so SpaghettiOs right now. Attach all energy to Heatran. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, we can't do the Beast Springer because he's not the right Pokemon. He's not an Ultra Beast. But we are going to Hot Burn for the knock. So we did get the knock, but oh my gosh. Wow. Ugh, that was painful. Okay. That was painful. <laughs> that was so much happening at once. All right, we got the knock with the hot burn GX, which I guess is still a plus, but uh, now, oh, and there's the resign. Whoo, whoo, whoo. That was crazy. That was, <laughs> dude. Oh my gosh. For some reason I thought I had to hit him for 300, but it was only 240 HP, so that worked out. Wow, okay. That's crazy, you guys. That was that was epic. I mean, I kind of want to play one more, but I know that would be such a long video, so I feel like I should end it here, but hopefully you guys got the gist of this deck. It has been pretty stressful. This, this deck is way easier to play when you have full focus and you're not recording a video. 
<laughs> so hopefully that kind of demonstrated how the deck works. You have tons of different variations. I didn't really get to use Cramorant to hit any Dedenes on the bench, which is kind of a bummer, but you can definitely hit the bench with Cramorant and discard some energies, which is bomb. Mind Report Mewtwo, I didn't really get to use him for you guys to get the supporters or cycle supporters. Um, but yeah, I think you you kind of got the gist of this deck and how it works. It can hit for an insane amount of damage very easily, so it's pretty awesome. I can't believe I bricked on those water decks so hard, but you can beat Inteleon decks. I, I beat them all the time, so that's a possibility as well. But yeah, we're gonna end it there for you Goobies, and I hope you enjoyed my little uh, TCG. TCG sesh with boo broskies <laughs> Okay, my goobies. Thank you so much for coming to this video today. I had a blast. I miss recording TCG videos I love it so much. I have so much fun kind of explaining things to you guys Hopefully my mind wasn't too chaotic there uh, because that was that was honestly a lot of thinking power <laughs> that I just had to do um, because there's so many variations of moves that you can do with this deck which is why I don't think this is a beginner friendly deck um, I've practiced so much with te like tons of variations of this deck so I'm really familiar with the ins and outs of it and even still this is a kind of a new variation I'm playing so you don't really see me utilize everything I could be I probably made tons of mistakes uh, so even I'm still pretty noob with it, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully it helped you out uh, understand a new deck or maybe show you some different plays with baby baby bees, my cuties. I love it so much. Thank you so much to my patrons as always. And of course, we do have a Patreon club that we meet on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Central and we play TCG together. So if you guys want to join in on that, you're more than welcome to. And until next time, my goobers, take it easy and I will catch you on the flip side.